Michelle Seitz here. You're watching Macros. Here's the scenario. You have a document in which you have several numbers and units of measure, such as six liters. And you don't want the number and the unit to be separated at the end of a line. You could use the keyboard keys, control shift spacebar, but then you would most likely need to use both hands and hit three keys and the delete key. So you would like to create a macro that can do this for you with a click of a mouse. Watch this video to learn how. Practice the steps you need to perform before you start the macro because the macro will record every step, good or bad, which could take the macro a few seconds more to run. After you have the steps down pat, and before you hit the record macro button, I want to make sure that my cursor is in the correct location to start my macro. In my particular case, I want it to be right after the number and before the unit of measure, because I want to record as few steps as possible. Go to the Tools tab and select Macro. Record New Macro. In the first field, you want to name your macro. Make sure the macro contains no spaces. In the Stores Macro In field, there's a drop down. You can select to store your macro in all your documents or you can store it in your current document. I'm going to store mine in all documents because I want it available on my toolbar every time I open Word. There's also a description field. If your macro has many steps, you may want to document them in this field. I think mine is pretty self-explanatory, so I'm going to say OK. You can see the little cassette tape next to my mouse. That's telling me that my macro is recording. There's also a floating toolbar. This is the macro toolbar. So now I want to record the steps for my macro. So for the non-breaking space, I need to hit Control Shift Spacebar, and then I want to delete the space that was in between the six and the L. And when I do that, the macro is created. Now click this icon to stop recording on the macro toolbar. Now I want to go back in and view my macro. So go back to the Tools tab, Macro, and click on Macros. Now I can see that my non-breaking space macro has been created. Now I'm going to show you how to add that macro to one of your toolbars. So click this icon on the toolbar, select Add or Remove buttons, then click Customize. Now the Customize dialog box is displayed. In the Commands tab, you want to drag the vertical bar down and select Macros. Now your macro is in the right field. Now you need to make your toolbar float. So pull it off of the menu bar and take your macro and drag it onto the toolbar. Now your macro is on your toolbar. And now I want to customize my macro a little bit. So I'm going to select Modify Selection. And in the Name field, I'm going to shorten it to Non-Breaking Space. Now I'm going to change the image and give it a smiley face. So now my macro has been customized and is on my toolbar. Now I want to dock my toolbar. I'm going to show you how the macro works. So we put our cursor right after the number six, click the little smiley face, and voila, the non-breaking space was added between the number six and the letter L. And that is the end of this lesson, Macros.